Greetings, you people. This is Briarstone, and I welcome you back to some Skyrim roguelike. This is Chapter 10 of Nazark, our 12-year-old Redguard child, who has made his way all the way from Riften to Markarth by way of carriage. He paid 100 gold for it, and here he is now just outside the doors, and he is hungry, and he is thirsty. But speaking of being thirsty, something we can do is go to the water right over here. And have a drink. Well, why not? Seems legit. It's moving water and shouldn't be too bad. Should be filtered quite well from the mountain right next to here. Drink from the stream. Also make that my favorite. And let's do it. My thirst has been quenched. No disease. Perfect. And there is a silhouetted Mercurio keeping watch over me. I really like that. Normally I would find that creepy, but this guy has been my savior. And a man of his word. Which is more than enough reason to make him completely dear to Nazark. Because anybody else in Skyrim, you can't trust him. Not really. Of course, the Thieves Guild is getting on Nazark's level of trust. Sort of. He's still tentative, because he's smart. And that would be my stomach. Food. What can we do? How about some cheese? Nazark is still hungry. How about a little bit more cheese? A little bit more cheese. Could have some more, sure. One last little bit of cheese. Maybe one more? I'm full. Okay. Perfect. We now smell sour. And I think I'm tired, but I'm going to say that was Mercurio's <laughs> yawn, because that was not the yawn of a 12-year-old. So, open Markarth. Now, many of you have been talking about Markarth, saying that, you know, it's a unique city. Those are the words of just viewing. He says it's a unique city. And Ivan brought up some interesting things about the Shadowcraft symbols, and Shamazan also commented on it in terms of the marks that you can find in all the cities, but apparently Markarth is one of them. Look for the marks, look for the Shadowcraft symbols, and partake. Slam Daddy mentions that there are a lot of quote-unquote juicy targets. <laughs> so that's what we're going to hopefully have some... Um, I thought he was coming after me. <gasps> oh my god. Would Nazark help? I don't think Nazark would help here. That's. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everyone stay back. The Markor City Guard have this all under control. There are no Force One here. What just happened? What a waste. Mercurio. Search Margaret? No, I'm not going to search these bodies in full view of the guards. A woman attacked right on the streets. Are you alright? Did you see what happened? I was alright until you startled me. Sorry, I'm going to say that I missed it. It was too dark. You don't have to say sorry to me. I just hope the aid brings more peace in the future. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Why would you single me out? I don't like you because of that fact. I don't want your note. Is this your note? What does it mean? You know what? I'm just done talking Until to you. Next time. No, there won't be a next time. If there is a next time, it's... A bad situation for you. Isn't that right, Mercurio? He's just gonna grunt and nod. Alright, what's in here? Display case. We might come back for you later. <laughs> Need something? Where's this gent here? Hogni, red arm. Did you see that, Madman? A forsworn agent. Here in the city. Well. It's kind of speculation, isn't it? 
I mean, I don't know what's going on in the city, but that seems like speculation. I've seen Forsworn. Narzark hasn't. But I've seen Forsworn, and they're usually all dressed up. And that's an arrow. I'll take it. Why not? <laughs> what is this? Silver Blood Inn. Actually, this is perfect. We need to take a rest. That was a long, arduous journey in that carriage. Uneventful, but arduous nonetheless. So let's go get some sleep. Come on in. The Silver Blood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Aye, but do you have clean drink? And, uh, strong rooms. Nazark, don't say that. Never say that again. What's his name? Kep Klepper? This is the Silver Blood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. Don't really care who owns it. Probably in here to steal all the things anyway. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Excellent. Now show me. Remember, ale is cheaper than blood in Markar. Wow. The service here is a little funky. They don't even show you to your room. Do you show me to your room? To my room? To your room. Actually, Nazark wouldn't think that. Um, yet. Maybe when he's 13 or 14. Oh, now you want to show me to my room. Where is it? It's probably this one. Or this one. Unlocked door. So it's probably not that one. It is this one. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Yep, you can remove yourself from my room. You too, Markirio. Go buy your own room. This stone bed is mine. It's gonna be hard to sleep on this thing. I would imagine. Although, Nazark is a kid. He can manage. So, 10 hours sleep would bring me to 8 o'clock. 12 hours sleep would bring me to 10 o'clock. 11 No, 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. So, let's do that. Let's sleep for a full 12 hours. Nazark could use that. A little bit of, I don't know, some kind of charge for him. Recharge his batteries, so to speak. He's going to wake up hungry and thirsty. Which is legitimate. He's just going to have to go have some breakfast. Or brunch, I guess. Since it's Unlike my like almost noon. Pepper, I watch after our guests. What was that you said, venomous wife of mine? Oh wow. Nothing, you pig headed oaf. You just got got <laughs> you got called pig headed. This is the Silver Blood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. I don't really care for a second time. You have a very short term memory. What do you have for sale? Let's save that appetite, hmm? Hmm. That sounds exceptional. Food. Give me some stuffs. Cooked beef. That's a medium meal. Should have some beef for my growing muscles. Yes, that sounds good. Some beef and herbal tea. Yeah, let's have some herbal tea too. We have plenty of gold as it is right now. And if I have to, finish it off. Remember, ale is cheaper than blood in Markar. Hmm. I'll finish it off with some good old cheese, because that doesn't get old. Well, I guess it already is old. That's the thing. Could have a bit more. How about a piece of cheese? It's probably good enough. Herbal tea. Quest. Quest. Thirst has been quenched. Very well. Now then, all those sorts of situations, all the bio needs set aside... Um, I'm going to look at you again. And then I'm going to head up to this door. And see if I can't pick it. Because I'm just curious. What's on the other side? And when it's that easy. I would not be wrong to do it again and again and again. Baked potatoes. Or more cheese. I'll take that. Wine. I don't need currently. There is a coin purse. <laughs> Search in table. Margaret's journal. Who's Margaret? Books. 
Meeting at the Treasury House later today. Took them long enough, those people act like they own everything. Fonar Silverblood is the younger brother, but he's obviously the one in charge. Makes all the deals, bullies local landowners into selling to him. Even employs that wispy girl at the door to deter troublemakers like me. General Tullius... Wow. General Tullius is growing impatient, but I'll bring back the D to Sidna. Mine. On my life, I won't allow a group of Stormcloak sympathizers to own the prison to the most notorious criminals of the Reach. They say no one escapes? Why? Is it really that secure? Maybe I've played my hand too soon by rushing the confrontation with Thonar. There are shadows around every corner in this city, and I know I'm being watched. You're no kidding. This is a journal of a spy. What? Oh, that's just fantastic. I don't know what that means lore-wise, but it's kind of cool to find something like that. Anyway, exit to a more brighter world of Skyrim. Not so dark now. Should be about midday. You. I've seen you snooping around and asking questions. Have I now? I'm off. You don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here. I didn't ask any questions. In fact, there was only one fellow asking me questions, and I didn't have anything to do with him. So, you know what? Um, I'm not trying to cause trouble. I want to blend in. You're finding it. That's bad enough. How? This is your last warning, outsider. We keep the peace here. Stay out of our business. The hell are you hiding? You know what? Instead of threatening me, you need to come clean up this damn mess. Or wait. Margaret. Um. So wait. This was a spy. And he killed her. And he gets called a forsworn member. You know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Is that a thing? That's one of those little... Ed That's a shadow mark right there. What does that mean? I think that's like... Was that the... Tr was that... I can't remember what that means. I think that means loot. I hope so. Because if it means loot, then loot I shall. Now we are in Markarth. If you don't already know, it's just the market travel. We should get back to work. You there, if you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Well, I'm here to trade. Five finger discount? Is that okay with you? Eh, it doesn't really matter. Um, so we are in Markarth to pick the pocket. We're here to do a little bit of fishing, as it were. We need to cast our hand very gently, ever so slightly, into the pockets of someone and retrieve an item. I believe it was an amethyst. We need to pick that up and bring it back to Delvin for the Thieves Guild quest. One of the light quests, as it were. Talk, Lisbeth. No, I'm not Arnleaf. Yes, I know it's called Arnleaf and Sons. I didn't say anything. There was an attack in the marketplace. What have you got for sale? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, weapons. Nothing that really interests me at the moment. None of this apparel so far. Although I would love to ha- Oh my god, if anything like that is laying around, you know it's going in my pocket. Come back whenever you need something. Oh, I might still need something. I'm just gonna have a. I'm just gonna have a look around. I'm just gonna have a look around. Ain't that right, Mercurio? Yeah, Mercurio's already having a look around. There, that's good. It's all good. All right. Uh, I'm just tying my shoes. Tying my shoes. Don't worry. All right. 
can I find? Hmm. Apparently there is some loot in here if my understanding of that mark was correct. And there is a strong box here. And she is not looking currently. Let's let's find our way inside and see what's in here. 60 gold! That is loot enough for me. Very good. Hmm. Are you selling strong boxes? Are you are you never mind. It's a nice strong box. I like it. It's uh, it's got nice little etchings along the side. Yes, it's too bad you don't sell strong boxes. I'd probably, I'd probably buy one for sixty gold. <laughs> All right. Nothing's going on in here. Doesn't seem. What's over here? Oh, Mercurio, what are you doing? What are you doing, huh? He's doing a little pilfering himself. What do you got? Absolutely nothing I really care about. I guess that's all the loot we're to have. Unless there's something behind that counter. Arnleaf and Sons Trading Company. Bison sells anything you wandering types need. Hmm. Yes, you do. Unfortunately, you don't leave it just laying around. Alright, well, maybe later, maybe later. I'll be back, just doing a little shopping. Shopping, so to speak. Well, anyway. Let's see. I'm pretty sure Delvin would have told us what the gentleman looked like. This... Ron Dash. So what does he look like? Maybe he has a little scribble. No. Anyone seen entering or leaving? Any strange lights or unusual noises? It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. Excuse me, but do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? I uh, apologize, but I'm new to town. I just arrived. Yesterday, or last night, I should say. Damn. It's like everyone in this city has amnesia. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. I believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Evil rites and so forth. I'm sorry I couldn't help you. Thank you for your time. Oh, you're welcome, I guess. The Vigilant of Stendar. They almost looked at each other like they knew each other for a second. Hell, they look very damn similar. Ah, uh, don't worry about me, Mercurio. I'm not making any assumptions. The Zark's smart enough not to assume anything. What is this? It's another one of those loot symbols. I think it's the loot symbol. Treasury House? I think I may be correct in assuming that that is the loot symbol. <laughs> What's inside? Treasures? Trinkets? A vault? That's what that looks like. Dead ahead. A vault right behind you. Do you continue facing this way? Talk to me. The treasury house is really just for patrons of the Silverblood family. You don't belong here. Yeah, you know what, you're right, I have but records I need to tend to. this is a public place, and I will have a look around because it is a public place. Yeah. I don't see you arguing with me, so I'm going to go have a look around. Hey, Nana! You just let old Nana know if you need anything, all right, dear? Yes, Nana, I, I probably would have, but you you just creeped me out with that voice of yours, so I'm going to... Decline for now. I don't really need much. Thank you. And what's over here? Oop, 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 oop. Hide in the corner. There we go. There we go. Open that door. Oh, there's somebody here. I'm gonna say I opened up that door very gently. 
And this guy is in a trance. He was eating. Oh my god, take that. As well as these amethysts? Can I get those? Oh! Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm dropping. It's good. I... Didn't actually get that gold anymore, did I? I guess he took it back. No, he didn't. It's okay. We're okay. Although, we're probably going to have a run-in with a guard now. Oh my god, please don't get me stuck in prison. That would really suck. Although, he turns his back on me, he's like, Oh, I caught him, so I'm just going to... Ignore him for now. That's right, you will. Because... I'm... An unassuming... Idiot. Well, one of us is, for sure. What is that? No stone unturned. Is that the loot? Bring the unusual gem back to Vex. Well, isn't that interesting? We just got something. I don't know what it is, but we just got something. Now, Nazark would probably think that, you know what, I, I just got in trouble for something and I probably should just, you know, leave. But there's a large part of me that is just way too ballsy. I have a family now. <laughs> and I had a pick, one more pick than I do now. Is that a metaphor? I had two more picks than I do now, so maybe I'm losing my family as fast as I'm losing picks? I hope not. Okay, there's three down. Okay, there's four down. Where is the sweet spot? There it is. Got it. What's inside? Anything? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I tell you what. The person at the counter there just must be, I don't know, reading some sort of mystery novel. Or romance novel. That looks like I should have that, so I'll take that. And as well as the amethyst. And the corundum. And the garnet. And the gold. And the amulet of Debella. And the silver necklace. Somebody's gonna be disappointed when they come looking for their stuff. Hello, sir. I work for the Silver Bloods, help clean. I'm talking to all the people to make it seem like, you know what? I'm an okay guy. I just tripped in my hand, fell in that other guy's pocket. It was a little bit of a misunderstanding. Although I'm still gonna have a problem with the authorities. I know I am. Just as why did I steal a bowl? Nazark, you little klepto. Alright. As soon as I get out of here, I'm gonna have a run-in. I just know I'm gonna have a run-in with the law, and it's gonna be annoying. You okay there, Mercurio? Seem a little tired. Don't get tired on me. I might need you. In just a few moments. Open Markarth. Is there any way I can bribe the guard? I don't... I think that's... That has something to do with the... Or maybe I just... Maybe if they don't see my face. If they don't see my face, then I might be able to just get by. Because that guard did not come walking... Yeah, no, he's walking away. Perfect. What's up here? Not much. Where are you? You look rich. Shouldn't look that rich. Thank you. Gold necklace. <laughs> Take that too. Silver garnet ring. Ticket. <laughs> and I'm gonna stop there. There's a certain feeling that Nazark gets when he's like, hmm, there's one, there's two. I should probably stop while I'm ahead. Wait, I know you. No, you don't. I, um... I have a face similar to a lot of other children. A lot of other Redguard children. 
which is actually true. Oh.